Only 10 kilometers away from Varanasi is Sarnath, one of the major Buddhist centers. Having achieved enlightenment, the Buddha came to Sarnath to preach his message of the middle way to final nirvana. The following day we flew to Kajuraha and visited the temples. The temples are superb examples of Indo-Aryan architecture, but it's the decorations with which they are so liberally embellished that has made Kajuraha so famous. Around the temples are bands of exceedingly fine and artistic stonework. The sculptures have shown many aspects of Indian life 1,000 years ago. Gods and goddesses, warriors and musicians, animals real and mythological. But two elements appear over and over again and in greater detail than anything else, woman and sex. Stone figures of celestial maidens part and pose for all the world. In between are couples and some larger groups, running through a whole Kama Sutra of positions and possibilities. Almost as intriguing as the sheer beauty and size of the temples is the question of why and how they were built here. We took the train to Agra, where we spent two days. We visited the Agra Fort. The baby Taj. And the Taj Mahal, constructed over 18 years from 1631 to 48 by Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his wife Mumtaz Mahal who died in 1629 in childbirth after producing 14 children. Although the Taj is amazingly graceful from almost any angle it's the close-up detail which is really astounding. Semi-precious stones are inlaid into the marble in beautiful patterns and with superb craftsmanship. Taj is remarkable for its perfect proportions and we visited a few times. It is a special place to be in the evening light as the sun's setting rays reflect off the shining white marble and dance across the semi-precious stones.